Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and we are taking a look at S3, one of the uh, most used services in AWS and connects to basically everything. So we are really going to cover this uh, very thoroughly. But let's talk about what is object storage. So object storage is a data storage architecture that manages data as objects as opposed to other storage architectures. And so S3 can provide you with unlimited storage. I put an asterisk there because uh, if you're using outposts, that's not necessarily true. There are limits. Um, and there could be other limits that are not necessarily limiting the amount of objects, but there's some other things that uh, might prevent you to have unlimited storage. But for the most part, it has unlimited storage. Uh, you don't need to think about the underlying infrastructure. It is a serverless service, so um, that's really nice. The S3 console provides an interface for you to upload and access your data, which has get, been getting better year after year. Um, but let's go break it down and talk about the two most important components. We have S3 objects. Uh, these contain your data and they are like files and they will consist of uh, things like a key, which is the name of the object, uh, value, which is uh, the sequence of bytes of the data. It, will, it could have a version ID if you have versioning turned on, it could have metadata. Then you have S3 buckets. These are what hold objects. Uh, buckets can also have folders, which in turn hold objects. S3 is a universal namespace, so bucket names must be unique. It's kind of like picking your own domain name and sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not. Uh, and the other thing is that you can store an individual object of zero bytes to five terabytes in size. So you have uh, that range that you can work with. So there you go.